Hi Coyotes, welcome to this week's KYOTV. I'm Chloe Schwartz. And I'm Mackenzie Moss. Let's kick things off with a sneak peek of our interview with the assistant principal. What led you to pursue the position as an, as an assistant, assistant principal? principal? So I was a teacher for a really long time. Well, I think for me, it's just following kind of in the footsteps of my parents. Both my parents were college coaches. I wanted to be able to shape education a little bit. You know what, I kind of like the management and leadership role. What was your high school experience like? I was um, a high school student at Camarillo High School. My experience was, it was a pretty good one. Um, I went to Claremont High School. And I graduated in 1989, so yes, I'm a little on the older side. I played in six different sports in high school at one point. Um, and just, I, I, I loved to live life. So the 80s, it was great. We had a fun time. Um, I played soccer, and I was also the um, athletic director for the newspaper, and um, really involved around track and cross country as well, so yeah. Thank you. Of course, thank you. Looks like we've got an awesome Adamant team this year. You can catch the full interview on our YouTube channel, Calabasas High School, KYO TV. Now let's hand it over to Matt Baum with this week's Matt on the Street. All right, today I'm here with CJ. All right, CJ, what are you wearing for Halloween this year? Oh, like a Dorito bag or something like that. Type. All right, today I'm here with Ian. All right, Ian, what are you dressing up as for Halloween? Um, I'm going to be Captain Underpants. All right. All right, today I'm here with Anisha. And Anisha, what are you dressing up as for Halloween? My friends and I are being Star Wars characters, so I'm going to be Padme. All right. All right, who am I here with? Sean. And Sean, what are you dressing up as for Halloween? I'm going to be a prisoner. Got you, got you. All right, who am I here with today? JJ. Tanner. And what are you guys dressing up as for Halloween? Uh, I'm going to be the cop, and he's going to be the prisoner. Yeah. All right, who am I here with? Oh, uh, Max. And what are you guys dressing up as for Halloween? Uh, farmer. All right, today I'm here with? Nathan. Kaylee. And what are you guys dressing up as for Halloween this year? Being of a fireman? Um, inflatable minion. In the Halloween spirit. I know, right? There's nothing better than gearing up for Halloween. I can't wait to see all the creative costumes this year. And speaking of creativity, let's check in with our pack leaders and see what really goes into running the pack. What time do you start preparing on game day? On game day, it starts when you wake up. It's a mentality. Hi, I'm Devin Aaron. I'm the ASP president, and part of my job is to oversee the pack. So, um, game day really starts like weeks in advance, especially if it's a something yellow game or the pink out. Um, so we'll we'll set up the donation system for those types of games a couple of weeks in advance. Half or two weeks, we start ordering materials. So I'll ask the athletic commissioners and the class, what supplies do we want for the pack? Do we want streamers? Do we want powder cannons? How can we increase student participation in the pack so then we could get that ordered? 7.30 in the morning to start decorating the school so we could get like the whole student body in the mood for game day. 6 o'clock so the pack could be ready and then we set up the five star a couple days so and then we'll set up the check-in system for student engagement. Do you ever get nervous before games? Not anymore. Um, of course, you know, there's a lot of people in the student section. Overall, high expectation to make the game better for the players and the fans. Yeah, it's definitely nerve wracking. What could the students do to make your job easier? Um, to make my job easier, the students could just bring a little bit more energy to them, you know? Just participate. I mean, we try so hard to like make it so it's easily accessible to all students. Give the opportunity for all students to dress up or um, get points so they could, like five star was a big thing for me this year, get points to incentivize, like having a good time and dressing up. Always be excited for the actual football, not just our cheering. What would you say is the most important part of your job is? Uh, just making people happy, you know, making sure the energy is as high as they can possibly be. Well, I think, Obviously, I serve the students, so that's the most important. It's always, it's always my priority is always the students first rather than in general. So my most important job is to make sure the students are having a good time while keeping everything accordingly for like standards, what we need. The most important job is to try to do my best to make students like happy about something without pissing other people off in general. How much do you think your efforts help the team win games? So, I mean, I'm not going to take credit for a team winning. I think it for sure helps, you know, with the home field advantage, if they hear their crowd cheering them on, definitely boost their confidence, boost their drive to want to win. I think we improved the atmosphere for sure, actually, uh, for the game, but I don't think that's why they win. Why do you want to run the pack? Is it meeting your expectations? Yeah, I mean, my favorite part of, like, 
being a part of ASB is definitely the like the pep and the student engagement part. Um, you know, ever since I've been little, I've been coming to Calabasas football games. I've always been so impressed by the student section, and just to be the leader of that, just like it means more. You know, bringing that school spirit, bringing that excitement to the game. My favorite types of like commissionerships. For sure, I love them all. They're all great, but my favorite part are always the pep and athletics. I love the energy, and that's like kind of something that I like really work with. Like Auden, that is our ASB vice president, is really good at like the behind the scenes with campus and that stuff. So it's like it's a really good balance that we have in ASB. But I definitely love the energy aspect of it um, and being in front of the scenes. So that's why I really wanted to be like in charge of the pack and really make a good time for everyone. And it's for sure met my expectations. Very fun. Top tier. The pack takes a lot more work than I thought. Right? Sending a big thanks to our pack leaders. Our games wouldn't be the same without you guys. I couldn't agree more. While the pack cheers on our players from the stands, have you ever wondered what they talk about on the field? Let's find out. All right, guys, welcome to Ian's Mic'd Up Show. Currently, we're playing at Newberry Park High School. I'm doing some hamstring kicks right now. Ooh, yes. The pregame meal was these uh, Panda Express chicken and rice teriyaki. So good. I look really fat right now, but it's okay. This team's looking a little intimidating. They have a five-star QB in Brady Schmeigel. Getting those glutes warmed up. I feel like a ballerina. Partner leg swings with Josh Lummer right here. Two of the biggest in the Calabasas varsity squad. More him than me. You're 330 pounds, Ian. Yeah. Let's go, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Just to let you know, everybody watching this right now, this is the peak male physique that I'm currently withholding. Hey guys, sorry my pants keep falling down. I have an 8X on right now. They're a little big on me. Here we go, bro. All right, y'all. Peace out. Thank you for tuning in. That gives us a whole new perspective on what's happening out in the field. It's always fun to see how they act in the heat of the game. Up next, a sports montage that brings all these moments back to life. What? Wow, that montage really captured all the action. Those plays were insane. Now let's switch things up. Take a special look at the brand new Museum of Tolerance. Well, we at the Museum of Tolerance are adamant about using lessons from history and plugging them into uh, to our lives today. So this is, we, we've seen throughout history how propaganda can lead people to commit acts of violence and separate people. So with this media literacy workshop, we really hope to empower you, the students, to be able to, to see it for yourselves and decide not to spread it or decide to, to take a step back or most importantly report it. It was an eye-opening experience for freshman students on campus. Definitely. Now let's get into the upcoming events this week. Turning to Johnny Leifer. I'm Johnny and here's what's coming up this week. Today on campus we have events to promote Halloween spirit through a pumpkin scavenger hunt. Remember, there's no school tomorrow due to staff development day. Also, don't forget the canned food drive is happening all next week. Be sure to donate. To wrap it up, we have a Seize Candies fundraiser through early November. Have a good rest of your week, Coyotes. And now back to Mackenzie. Thanks for tuning in this week, Coyotes. And thank you all for watching. Happy Halloween and enjoy the long weekend. See, See you next, next time on KYO TV.